I'm going to speak some hard truths to my friends in the Democratic Party. This is not Joe Biden's fault. It's not Kamala Harris's fault. It's not Barack Obama's fault. It is the fault of the Democratic Party in not knowing how to communicate effectively to voters. We are not the party of common sense, what, which is what the message that voters sent to us. Check out what this Democratic strategist had to say on CNN. She delivers a brutally honest take on why her party keeps losing. And she's not the only one on CNN telling it like it is. We're starting with her clip, because this is the kind of message the Democratic Party needs to hear if they want to stop losing elections. Let's dive in. Take a look. For a number of reasons, for a number of reasons, we don't know how to speak to voters. When we address Latina, and language, listen, language has meaning. When we address Latino voters as Latin X, for instance, because that's the politically correct thing to do. It makes them think that we don't even live on the same planet as they do. When we are too afraid to say that, hey, college kids, if you're trashing a campus at Columbia University because you're unhappy about some sort of policy and you're taking over a university and you're trashing it and preventing other students from learning, that that is unacceptable. But we're so worried about alienating one or another cohort in our coalition that we don't know what to say when normal people look at that and say, wait a second, I send my kids to college so they can learn, not so that they can burn buildings and trash lawns, right? And so on and so forth. When we put pronouns after names and say she, her, as opposed to saying, you know what, if I call you by the wrong, wrong pronoun, call me out, I'm sorry, I won't do it again, but stop with the virtue signaling and just speak to people like they're normal. There's nothing I'm going to say to Sher Michael that I'm not going to say to you, that I'm not going to say to somebody else. I speak the same language to everybody. But that's not what Democrats do. We constantly try to parse out different ways of speaking to different cohorts because our focus groups or our polling shows that so-and-so appeals to such and such. That's not how normal people think. It's not common sense. And we need to start being the party of common sense again. Joe Biden is not responsible for that. Neither is Kamala Harris. It is a problem that Democrats have had for years. I've been banging the drum on this for, I don't know how, probably 10 years, if not longer on this. We need to get back to being the party of common sense that people look at us and say, we understand you. We appreciate what you say because you speak our language. And until we do that, we should stop blaming other people for our own mistakes. Here's what the Democratic strategist is saying in simple terms. She's calling out the Democratic Party for losing touch with everyday voters. She doesn't blame Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or even Barack Obama. Instead, she says it's the party's fault for not communicating in a way that makes sense to regular people. For example, using terms like Latinx might seem politically correct, but many Latino voters feel it's out of touch and alienating. Similarly, when college students trash campuses over policy issues, Democrats are often hesitant to speak out because they don't want to upset different groups within their base. This approach, she says, makes the party look like it's pandering instead of standing for common sense. The strategist also criticizes the use of pronouns like she, her, as virtue signaling, suggesting Democrats should keep things straightforward. If someone gets a pronoun wrong, just correct them without making a big deal of it. She argues that Democrats focus too much on speaking to each subgroup based on polling rather than addressing everyone with a clear, common sense message. In her view, the party needs to get back to being relatable and speaking the same language as everyday people. Until Democrats do that, she believes they're just making excuses and blaming others for their own mistakes.